Hello everyone, welcome back to Always Wondering Art Watercolor Tutorials. Middle of February here in the Northeast, and I haven't seen a flower bloom in a long time. So uh, today we're going to be painting garden pansies. Uh, we're going to stay very loose with this watercolor because a lot of people, including myself, tend to get very tight uh, in, in when they paint uh, the details of a flower. So for this this painting, we're just going to just gonna be very loose with it and just try to have fun. And uh, so grab a brush, buckle up, and let's paint. A little pre-painting warm up here with the kneaded eraser. I'm gonna start by lightly sketching the flowers, arranging them kind of all over the page, but it's important not to have them all going in a line so that the drawing is a bit more interesting. Having some of the flowers overlap definitely helps. I'll be using pretty much the colors of the rainbow for this painting and flat brushes ranging from an inch to a quarter inch. I'll wet the paper to start out. Going around the flowers. I'm bringing in a light wash of cobalt blue and some violet going around the flowers in order to leave them white so that they can keep their translucence. And now that the wash is laid out, I'm starting to define the flowers a little bit by adding in a couple minor details. Starting off with that really prominent part of the pansy, that deep violet that you get right in the center. I'm starting off with a very light wash for all of the flowers first. Uh, we could always go back and add details later. And since I have red on my paintbrush, I'll just go ahead and paint in all the red flowers. And here comes that deep maroon pansy variety. I'm sure that's a bestseller. So the object of this painting is just to be loose and have fun with it. We don't have a vase to worry about or anything, just a bunch of flowers, a bunch of colors, Let's see where the painting takes us. Now that I've got the shapes of the flowers laid out, the next step is to go around and add foliage around the flowers and make the foliage darker so that the colors of the flowers really start to pop. I'm sticking with the idea that this is a loose watercolor painting, I still wanna give the impression that there's stems and leaves all around the flowers.
Notice how bringing in the dark color starts to really make the flowers stand out. All right, we've stayed cool and loose this whole time, but now we're gonna add some detail to the flowers by painting in the center of the flower darker and then adding more reds in this example and then diluting it with clean water toward the edges of the flowers. To add detail to the yellow flower, I'm using a bit of orange and burnt sienna for the center. Now it's very easy to overbrush it here. So I'm doing my best not to by adding clean water to dilute the color. As you can see, the paint dries way lighter than when you first put it on. So I'm going back into this maroon flower here to darken it up. Now here I just feel like I didn't get the effect I wanted the first time around. So I'm going to go back in one more time, being careful not to overbrush it.
think I'm going to start to wrap up this painting, but what I want to do as a final step is just to go around and darken the foliage just a little bit more to bring out the colors of the flowers. And a couple extra stems just for good luck. I hope I've inspired you to paint one of these loose style watercolor paintings yourself and let me know what you think.